Aloha! Hello everyone! Hi! Electra here. How is everyone doing today? It is May 2nd, everyone. I can't believe it's already May 2nd of 2023. Can you guys believe that? Because I sure can't. Um, the month of April went, went by so fast. Actually, this whole year is going by so super fast. Um, am I the only one that feels that way or do you feel that way as well? Because I totally feel this way. How do you guys like my makeup? I'm loving my makeup and my eyelashes. My eyelashes today, they are from that big eyelash box that I got from Marshalls and they are flirty girl. Mm. <laughs> that's, what the, that's what they're called today, flirty girl. But today everyone, I am going to be doing a review of a concealer that I bought. Uh, it is called Juvia's Place and I bought this concealer because I did see it on TikTok that it was it's a, like a really popular item a lot of uh, people use that brand like their blushes and whatnot they also do have a viral blush that's been going around and I actually wanted to purchase that blush because it's a really pretty pink color but after this review Mm, well you guys will find out but anywho that's what I'm going to be doing today on this video but I also wanted to let you guys know that I did find a big water remember I told you guys I was looking for a big water and I found it at a convenience store over the weekend um, I don't know if you watched my video on Monday and this lighting is kind of changing on me but I don't know if you watched the video that I posted yesterday. Yeah, I went to go help this model on a photo shoot. And that's when I stopped. We stopped at a convenience store and I got a water because I found it there. So I'm like, yes, I don't want to pass this by. And plus I was thirsty. But I didn't drink so much. I just have little sips here and there because I didn't want to have to go use the little girl's room. So yeah, yay me. But uh, anywho, I hope you enjoyed that video that I posted yesterday. It was a lot of fun. And I go on to help with poses, of course. I think I've mentioned that before. Uh, but yeah, I hope you are having a great start to the week of May. And it started off positive and productive for you. Ooh, I just did my inhaler because I was having trouble breathing. So I just did this little, this little baby. It's got steroid and uh, something else in it. So it helps me like really fast. It helps me breathe really, really well. So I'm so glad my doctor changed it to that. Um, but yeah, with that being said, I also went to the Dollar Tree and I found this. I found it's called a Sassy Plus Cheek. It's a uh, pod foot it's a pot foot file they use them like when you get a uh a pedicure right manny petty yeah a pedicure they use these because everyone has to have clean feet right so i saw this and i'm like i'm gonna pick this up so i did and i haven't tried it yet but when i try it i'll let you guys know um how it was so we'll see we'll see so i will pick that up uh but other than that i had a good weekend uh stayed busy and what have you so it, it was pretty good and yesterday i did go to dinner i had well it was like an early dinner i had a nice juicy steak and it was so delicious i of course had it medium rare uh, i didn't want it to end it was so good I posted a short on my YouTube uh, channel, so make sure that you check that out. It was nice and juicy. But thank you everyone for watching my shorts and also for watching my videos here on YouTube and for following me on my social medias. Don't forget to follow me on my uh, Twitch and my Twitter account. I'm very active on Twitter. And also uh, check out my link trees that I have there. And 
and my members area is active here on YouTube so all you have to do is hit that little join button right there and I have um, photos up there that are not on my regular YouTube or any social media whatsoever so they're special special perks for the members but anywho let's get into this Juvia's Place review shall we and let me just show you a picture of this right now and I'll tell you why after I show you the picture okay let me get it right here I did take a lot of selfies earlier I probably take like 30 selfies of the same picture just to make sure I got the right one do you guys do that too or is it just me I hope it's not just me okay here we go uh, let me see if I can get a better one okay here we go so this is the Juvia's Place concealer and I did purchase that at Ulta this is what it looks like Juvia's Place that's the brand and I got it at Ulta okay and it's a, it was a concealer but unfortunately i don't have it with me because i did take it back earlier today i took it back and i got a gift card so i'll be able to go purchase whatever else i want but this concealer cost about 15 dollars and some cents right well at first i thought it was going to be really good because it is like so much hype on on tiktok so yes i did get influence okay so what leave me alone so I'm like oh my god you know I'm gonna try this because I wanted to try something different with my concealer I wanted to go in with a darker concealer and then put a lighter concealer on top of the dark concealer and then put the the baking technique the powder on top of the concealers right so I wanted to see what that would how that would leave on my under eye because I wanted it kind of to cover a little bit more of the dark circles not that I have super dark circles but I like to cover a little bit more so covering the dark circles with a darker concealer instead of having a really light concealer that's going to bring out the dark circles even more I opt for a darker one and then to highlight with a lighter concealer you see what I did there you get it so that's why I went and I wanted to try the Juvia's Place and it does say that is a full coverage concealer which it is a full coverage concealer and it's very hydrated and very dewy. Um, it does not have a smell to it. It did have a nice applicator and the packaging was really nice. I did not really care for the orange color that it came in. I don't I don't care for the orange color at all and but I did like the little tube it came with, came with it was nice and thick and it did look like it had a lot of product inside so that I did like but but there is a but are you guys ready but I did not like the product the concealer itself I did not like it at all and this is a true re review um i really don't understand how everyone says oh my god i love this concealer it is the best concealer on the market i don't know how they say that because it is not the best concealer at all um it did have full coverage but it is so dewy that when i try to apply my blush my blush got really messy and wet on my on my face so i didn't like that and i also didn't like when i applied the concealer and i just i i just did under my eye just uh just pat just a little bit under the eye area and it felt so heavy and my under eye area felt so dirty like if I had mud, like say when you do like a mud mask and it feels really heavy and dirty, that's how my under eyes felt. It felt heavy and dirty and uncomfortable. Uh, my face didn't feel fresh and I did wear it. I did wear it throughout the whole entire day. I, I would say like probably oh, this lighting, like probably the late afternoon I wore it till 
And I really wanted to take it off so bad before I went to the gym, but I'm said, no, I really wanted to like it. I uh, like, I was kind of torturing myself wanting to like it. Like, really, I was. So I said, I'm going to give it a, a chance. I'm going to give it a chance. I even did selfies and I send them to uh, some of my other, the other models and I send them to the agency and my staff and everything. I said, what do you think of the concealer, you know? I, because I was doubting it. I was doubting it, you know, but I was giving it a chance. So I decided to wear it throughout the gym and everything. Well, when I was in the gym, I went to go look at the concealer and I noticed that it was creasing. It was creasing really bad and my under eyes looked very super tired. So... I went to the store, a uh, friend of mine picked me up. We went to the store, got off at the store. And I said, what do you think of the concealer, the makeup? Does it still look good? And my friend, he was like, uh, honestly. And I, I trust my friend, you know, because they know a lot about makeup and everything. So I said, be honest. And he's like, mm, well, that is the worst concealer. And he didn't know what concealer I was wearing. He said, that is the worst concealer I've seen on you. I don't know what it is, but it is the worst concealer I've seen on you because it's like creased, it's creased really bad. It's in your, uh, it's in every line, every crevice of your eyes and everything. He said, I just don't like it. It's bad. So I couldn't wait to get home and take it off. So as soon as I got home, I washed my face with my, with my facial bar and I washed it with my Noxzema. And I decided that night, I'm taking this back. I am totally going to take this Juvia's Place concealer back. And that's what I did. And I saved the receipt the day I bought it. Uh, and I just bought it over the weekend. I say the receipt, um, I just bought it on Sunday. I say the receipt because I said, I'm going to say my receipt just in case I don't like it. And like I've told you guys before, as long as you have the receipt, they will exchange um, your makeup. They will give you the money back or credit to your card or give you a gift card. They will do that. So I took it back and I told the sales lady, I said, this is the worst concealer I've ever used in my entire life she's our really i said yes and i'm never going to purchase any other products again ever so she was going to credit to my to my money card that i had but i didn't have it on me i had left it in my backpack so i just got a gift card but um yeah i just returned it and never again which is really sad because i really wanted to try the powder the powder blush that they have because the color is so pretty but with the bad experience that i had with their juvia's place concealer i don't think i am going to waste my money spend my money and a product that is not good at all like it's really not because a concealer tells me a lot about a product the way they make it the ingredients they put into it and the way it feels on my face and um, i'm sure all those people that that say that's the best concealer they've used and they look at the concealer they open it oh my god i love this concealer oh my god the consistency it's so hydrating and dewy look that's how they act well no they are lying to you they're a bunch of fakes and drama queens they're lying to you because they get paid to react that way just to sell their products because they are like big makeup influencers or whatever so don't believe them because it is not true trust me take it from me i will tell you the real the real truth about a product whether it be a concealer a, a, a foundation a powder a lip liner i don't care i will tell you the truth if i like it or not but so far, I've liked everything that I've purchased and I've told you guys. But the, this Juvia's Place Concealer, I'm kind of like upset about it because I really wanted to like it. Be, I'm, a, I'm, I'm a, little, a little mad about it actually because of all these people uh, making it seem that it was such a wonderful, great product. So I, was, I had high hopes for it. I really did have 
have high hopes for. You know when you expect something great because like half the world says it's super awesome. So that's what my expectations were really, really high, right? And then when I get the product and I test it out and I give it a chance, I give it, I gave it many chances throughout the whole entire day, throughout the night. And, um, and then to come to the conclu conclusion that it's all poop, it's all poop. So I was really disappointed and mad at the same time. So, uh, that's why I just, I'm just telling you guys, it is the worst product I've ever used. The texture is bad. It creases really bad. And I know a lot of us do not like concealers or makeup to crease on, on lines on your face, especially your under eyes. This creased to the max. I'm talking about every single tiny little line. It was it creased in there and you can see it. So not a good product at all. I do not recommend this to anyone. And it's not super expensive, but is it is pretty pricey. You know, $15 for a concealer is pretty pricey. So on a scale from one to five, I would rate this concealer a one. No, I, I would give it, I would give it a two. The only reason I give it a two is because I did like the applicator and I did like, I did like the little two that it came in and it did have a lot of product inside the, the tube. That's why I give it a two. But the way the way the way it looked was better than the way it worked how about we put it that way it looked better than it worked kind of like people you know kind of like people they look better than they are they look better than they act does that make sense does it make sense well that's what i'm going to kind of kind of um relate it to <laughs> And I hate, I mean, I'm the type of person where I love to buy makeup, but if I'm going to buy something, you know, pricey or really expensive, um, I want the product to work. I want it to live up to its standards and I want it to live up to the name because I hate taking stuff back. That is like one of my pet peeves is to take stuff back to the stores, especially makeup. I hate that. I hate dealing with it and waiting in line and all that stuff. I don't like to do that. But I'm telling everyone, if you need to take, if you buy, purchase a makeup product, uh, save your receipt because you will get your money back as long as you save your receipt. If you don't save your receipt, but they have your email on file and you have a copy of your of the receipt on your email, they will give you in-store credit. So keep that in mind as well. You will get in-store credit. And I got... A credit a gift card so I'm going to go back in there maybe over the weekend and I'm going to look for something else that I could use I still want a darker concealer but it's going I'm going to be a little afraid of what brand I choose only because there's so many big brands out there that are just fakes just fake you know uh, it's you can get an expensive concealer or an expensive uh, what is it a tube of contour and there's hardly any product in there and you're paying like sixty dollars for it. I'm not doing any of that, nothing of that. But the concealer that I'm using right now, I bought it at Marshalls for three ninety nine. I did a haul on that not so long ago, and I'm really happy with that concealer. So I want to keep using it, but I don't think Alta has that brand. Um, and it is called Flowers, but I love that concealer. I have no regrets, you know, buying it. It doesn't crease. It is full coverage. But like I mentioned to you earlier in this video, the only reason I'm looking for a darker concealer is just to have more coverage of the little black circles that I have under my eye, which is not a lot. You know, it's just something in my head that I, I just want to look good all the time. So that's the only reason why I was looking for something. But unfortunately, the juvious place, everyone, are you listening to me? Listen to me. Do not waste your money on that brand at all. Juvious place is not worth the money. The product 
is poop. Poop. Don't listen to those influencers. They get paid to say they like it, and then they turn around and they say otherwise. And I know why they say otherwise, because it sucks. <sighs> but anywho, that was my experience with that brand of makeup. But so far, what I've been wearing so far, like the Makeup Forever, that's a really good brand. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with the LA Girl Lip Liner and the Wet n Wild Lipstick. What else? Mm, the Fit Me Loose Powder, which is only like $7. I'm happy with that. So, let's see what I find over the weekend at Alta. <laughs> and Alta has so much stuff in there. I think Alta, to be honest with you guys, because I normally shop Sephora or the department stores, right? I don't really go to Alta. But to me, Alta is a more of a quantity store as opposed to a quantity store. Do you guys know what I'm saying? Like they have more quantity of a bunch of poop as opposed to quality stuff in there. That is my opinion. That's how I look at, at an Alta. I look at it like that. I'd rather go to a Sephora or a department store if I'm going to purchase some good, you know, a little bit higher price makeup than store, drugstore makeup. But that is just me, the way I see it. <sighs> And one more time, Juvia's place is poop. Poop. <laughs> it's funny, right? Now I've got an itch on my nose, you guys. But I'm really glad that I took it back because it was really bothering me all night. I was like, I can't believe I went to the store and I was at the gym with my everything creasing. I hate that. Oh my Jesus. But anywho, I got a compliment at the gym yesterday. And it was from a girl. She goes, oh my God, you have pretty eyes. I said, thank you. Thank you. So that was nice, right? right all right matey again i'm gonna show you that picture one more time the juvia's place concealer looks like this and just so you know um And this light keeps changing on me, you guys. I don't know what's going on with it. There we go. Well, I do hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, like I said, it was a review of a concealer that I recently purchased and I took it back. So I hope this helps you if you're if you're looking for a new product to buy, which is maybe a concealer or a foundation or something, I really enjoy doing reviews for everyone, whether it be makeup products or protein shakes or water, you know, it, it just anything, I enjoy it. But I will be live Friday, probably, depending on what I have to do on Friday. I don't know if I have a long day or not. I actually do have a long day on Friday. I have to go see my therapist on Friday, and it's a late afternoon. So, um, 
I might be live probably late on Friday, but I don't know yet. I'm not sure. I'll give everyone an update depending on when I make it back from my therapist because they take long sometimes and it's kind of annoying. But anywho, <laughs> thank you guys for joining me and thank you for watching this video. Give it a like and feel free to share it. Until then, I will see you guys soon. Stay safe and take care of yourselves. Mm, I love you guys. Don't forget to go check out my YouTube shorts and also go follow me on Twitter. Mm, love you guys. World peace and good health and all that jazz. Bye.